Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Can I Get the Saab Running on LPG? This time though, I'm feeling confident. So why am I confident? Well, last time after I shot the video where I replaced the air filter and cleaned the mass airflow sensor, the next day I went ahead and searched for those two LPG filters. I found them removed the uh, well smallest one is just like what three and a half four centimeters wide that was well dirty ish but not too bad i suppose but then i took the other one off and this is what i found so i think this is one of the lpg filters and i think i just found the problem it's there's not much in there now but it was full of some black liquid uh, I don't know there's still some in there you can see that wow oh man just look at what's inside there wow I immediately knew something was wrong when I was unbolting the lower half of this filter I had a some sort of black liquid running down my hand and well yeah I sprayed some WD-40 on the bolts uh, but not that much and after I removed it completely I had black liquid pouring down my hand man that was nasty after I removed the filter I could see some sort of gel type black substance on the bottom of the filter and it also had some sort of black flakes of whatever that thing was no wonder that thing is not running on LPG, because there is hardly any LPG getting to the injectors. I wonder, has that thing ever been replaced? I mean, as I have said earlier, I am by all means no LPG expert, but it's just liquefied petroleum gas. How come it's that dirty? And so, just to show you where the filters are located on this sub, this small little thing, is right there and it took me about i don't know three four minutes to remove it even though it's just three bolts the problem with that was that i first had to loosen the bolts one by one slowly to drain all the lpg that was in the system and there was a lot even though i have closed the tank and this nasty little thing was tucked away right down there. Man, getting that thing out was a pain. So, got new filters here, both of them. Uh, this small thing is worrying me though, because when you take a look at the old one, there's a hole down here, but not a hole on the top. The new one has a hole down here, like the old one, but also a small hole up here. As I said, I'm no expert, but uh, is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know. The guy that sold me this said, well, they are like that. Well, this one isn't, so... And then there's this thing. It's uh, interesting because on the picture here, it seems just like the one that was inside the engine compartment. But when I take it out, it seems a bit different. These inlets and inlets and outlet tube is straight, but on the picture is more angled. Oh, I get it. You can rotate this. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and install these and hopefully we can finally get the Saab running on LPG. All right, everything is back where it should be. Well, more or less. But God above, maneuvering that thing back in there was crazy. Uh, but yeah, got it in there, everything is hooked up. Although, I am using the old, uh, what's it's called, liquid phase filter. Because, as I said, the new filter has two holes. And I'm not sure whether I can use that. And yes, I am well aware that I shouldn't use a old filter, but I don't think it was that dirty. And yeah, I'm not sure about the new filter. Well, I hope it still works. Let's see. 
All right, here goes nothing. Why is it struggling to start? There we go. So yeah, it is going to take a minute before it switches to LPG. Hello? Oh, crap. Yeah, well, it switched and died immediately. Well, I don't see any leaks. And the tank is open. Let's give it another shot. Why? Why are you stalling out? Okay, so this is what's happening now. Now it's on gasoline. I'm gonna rev it to, let's say, 1500 or 2000 RPMs and switch it to LPG. It blinks red, but it doesn't die. It switches right back to gasoline. Can it be that the little filter is so clogged that it's not getting any gas through? I mean, well, yeah, but it doesn't seem that dirty. Right, so on a stupid level from 1 to 10, what I just did was a solid 15. I'm going to try to run the car one more time on LPG. If it does run, I'm going to tell you what I did. <laughs> if it doesn't, I won't. Okay, we do have a leak. I can already hear it. Where though? Somewhere down there. All right, another day, another attempt. So what happened yesterday? Um, that stupid thing, what I did was I put the liquid phase filter, that one, the wrong way in. <laughs> I know, I know. So there was no gas supplied, of course, and the engine stalled. I switched that, and when I tried to start it, as you noticed, I had leaks over here and over there. So today I will try to seal them, and hopefully, hopefully, we can finally get this thing to run on LPG. And well, since the engine is cold, it's gonna take a minute. Hello? Right, now they're waiting. It still stalls. I don't hear no leaks. Okay, let's try one more time. Right, so, I installed the old injectors. I don't know if it might work, because when you take a look at the new injectors, you can see that there has been LPG flowing through here, but the injectors are dry. Hmm. All right. Right, so basically I'm back at square one. So, I'm gonna rev the car back to 2000-ish RPMs like so, and I will switch to LPG now. This is what happens. It tries to run, but it shakes like a lot. And 
the check engine light is flashing. Uh, it is running on gas, I uh, mean LPG, but well, not that successful. And when I switch over to gasoline, it runs like it should. What is going on? Well, it seems that there is a problem with the new injectors and with the old injectors because the car somewhat runs on the old injectors, maybe on two cylinders or so, but doesn't run at all on the new injectors. I have no idea. Uh, I give up for now. I guess I will take the both of those injector sets to a LPG mechanic and maybe he has a clue. If you guys have a clue what's going on here, then please help me out. <laughs> I'm getting desperate here. Yeah, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.